Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about getting averages, but a little bit more specific. We're going to we're interested in getting the average of a group of numbers um, while dropping a certain number of those uh, numbers. What do I mean? Well, traditional average, let's say we want to average each row here, so we would just use the average function, which is one of the very basic functions in Excel. Equals average, and then we can drag that down. Oh, well, that's all very well and good, but for certain purposes you might need to drop a couple of these numbers for each of these rows. For example, if these were students' grades, you might have an agreement with the students that you'll drop the lowest grade, or drop the two lowest grades, or whatever number. Okay, or you might want to drop the lowest and the highest, um, which is done a lot in like judging in the Olympics. Okay, and then average the remaining numbers. So what do I mean? So for this guy, if I want to, let's use the example of averaging using uh, removing the lowest two numbers. Here I would remove for this first row. I'll remove the number three and the number 10 which is the second lowest and then I would average these three numbers okay and I would get 12 point uh, 19 sorry point six seven but I don't want to go manually on each row especially if I have tons of rows and take out the two lowest numbers what I would rather do is have a function figure out which two are the lowest or which three are the highest rather and just average those. So that's what we're going to do, and that's the object of the less of, of this tutorial. Okay, we're going to still use the average function, but within the average function, we're going to use the large function. <clears throat> now, the large function simply looks at a data array. For this case, we're just interested in this row, and the second argument is the number of the of observe uh, is the sorry the rank of the large observation that you want so one would get you the largest observation 25 um, two would get you the second largest observation which in this case is 22 and so forth okay but we want the three largest, so we use squiggly brackets here. So one would give us 25, two would get us 22 here, and three would give us 12. And then what we've done in essence is we've eliminated the two lowest of this group of five numbers, okay? For this particular row, of course. So we close the large functions parentheses we enter back into the average function so we close that parentheses and we hit enter and it's exactly what we expected it's the average of these three numbers which is 19.67 okay so then we can drag this down so if the large function was a little new to you I have a separate video just for the large and small function. Small function works very similar to the large function. Um, it just does the opposite. It gets the smallest um, by rank. Okay, so this is how you can get some kind of uh, more sophisticated average or mean than just a straight average. Okay, so hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe. Watch the other 200 plus tutorial videos I have on Excel, statistics, math, access, and so on, um, and have a great day.